Hello, we are on to our powder step. Using mineral powders are one of my favorite way to set the makeup so the makeup's not gonna be budging at all. And I love the baked powders because they're multicolor. It's not one flat color, so it makes everyone look more dimensional and brighter and not flat and matte. So as you get older, you don't wanna be flat and matte. Okay, so I'm using the shade Sand, and I'm using a big powder brush. Powder brushes are really my go-to for most mature skin because it's gonna dust a very light application on. Okay. Now, if you wanted to use just primer and powder, you would switch to a kabuki brush. A kabuki brush, when you swirl it, it's gonna help give more coverage to the area. So you can do one or the other. Um, with liquid foundation, I always prefer the powder brush because it's a little bit less powder application, so less, less coverage. But if you are just not a foundation person, you can do primer and one of the baked mineral powders and just use the kabuki and you'll have a beautiful look as well. And you can use setting spray so it'll look like a liquid, but you don't have to worry about the application of a liquid. All right, so now that we have our all over color, we're gonna do a next step and that is bronzing slash contouring. The reason I say it's bronzing slash contouring is contouring sometimes can be too much for someone's face shape if they're very gaunt and they have a lot of hollowingness, so you don't wanna contour that person too much. I'm going to use a combination of a little bit of contour with Lena and then also just a bronzing effect because she's in Florida right now. She has been out on the beach a little bit, so she's a little bit sun-kissed, but I don't wanna hollow her cheekbones out. So we have some a really beautiful facial structure. She has really nice jawbone, she has a she has a like little bit of width in her face and that's going to be beautiful to just to highlight and enhance okay so i'm going to use a pointed dome now i want to look at where her high points are on her face so she's got a really nice cheekbone we're going to go right under it and then bronze her now notice, I'm not going inside of this area where she's a little bit hollower. I'm staying more on the protruding bone. Okay, and then also with the mocha, I'm gonna go ahead and anytime you have a little bit of jowling, you want to contour this because you wanna darken it so it recedes. Remember, light comes forward, dark recedes. Okay, and then of course I always like to go along the jawline, down the neck, and what that is doing is it sharpens that jawline. Okay, and then another little trick I like to do is I'm gonna use the mocha, I'm gonna pinch my pointed dome, and I am going to bring it down the side of her nose, one side, then the next side. And what that does is it creates a little bit of like a sharper, more narrow nose. Okay. And then I just brush it along her forehead just to look at, make her look more sun-kissed. Another option is like the thing, the idea of a backwards E, but again, it's just, you've got to be careful on where you're contouring because you're not wanting to create hollowness. It didn't turn for me. Just want to make sure I blended this well. Okay, all right. So now we're on to blush. Okay, with blush, with most mature skin, you don't want to get into too much sparkles because sparkles and glitter are sometimes going to be too light reflective. 
You can use powders that have a soft micronized pearl in them because they're a soft focus finish, but nothing really glittery. Um, I'm going to choose, I think this one is Riviera. Okay, turn for me. Smile for me, Lena. Okay, so when you're doing the blush, I want to go on the upper apple of her cheek. So it's extremely important that you are not going below this nose line here. You're going to keep it on the upper side. Okay. Smile again. And if you have your client smile and then you do it on that upper, it's easier to make sure you're not getting it too low. And then I even have tell my clients when I'm doing makeup lessons, do this at home. Just smile. And actually, you might feel goofy and it might make you laugh, but... It's, I mean, it just brings joy anytime you smile. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and tackle eyes. Now eyes can be the most scary thing in the world for most clients to do because especially as they get older, they're not sure what to do. So we're gonna take one break and then we're gonna be on to the eyes. So Stay tuned, don't go away because this is gonna be a true eye transformation.